Sustainability of the foods we eat is a hot topic these days and one place you'll often see a sustainable food chain in action is in the hustle and bustle of your local fish market. I'm here with friend and chef Paul Brahini and today's FRDC featured species is the blue eye traveller. These fish come from deep water, often over 100 metres down, and are superb eating. But Paul, how do you like to cook them? Today I'm going to lightly pan sear it with a beautiful black olive and tomato sauce. Wow, that sounds amazing. So what I'm going to do is just score the blue eye cod. OK, I'm just going to season the fish. So I've got some beautiful lime pepper, both sides of the fish. I'm going to sear it, both sides. What I'm going to do next, guys, is just Flip the fish over onto the other side. Give it a couple of minutes. I just want it to be lightly seared because it's going to be finished in the oven. Beautiful. Now I'm going to pop it onto our tray. Now I've put a little bit of baking paper on there. It just helps stop the fish from sticking when we pop it in the oven. OK, so it's time to make my sauce. Now I've got some beautiful eschalots here. We're just going to put some eschalots in. I've got some beautiful bird's eye chilies just to give it a little bit of heat. In with our garlic. So now we can add our tomatoes, heirloom tomatoes. So I'm just going to let that break down now for around about five minutes, and then I'm going to add some olives. What this will do is just give it a little bit of saltiness to the dish. OK, so it's time to top the fish. Just get a lovely bit of this beautiful tomato, and it's such a simple dish. So the only thing I've got to do now is top it with my pistachio and herb crust, which I made earlier. Gives it an absolutely fantastic crust. So all we've got to do now is pop this in the oven for around about five or six minutes, and it's going to be absolutely sensational. OK, so you can see it's got a beautiful crust on here. I'm going to take the fish off. Some olive oil over the top, and a couple of drops of balsamic reduction. So there we go, folks. That's amazing. What a dish. That's For more facts and figures on Blue Eye Traveller, go to fish.gov.au or visit fishfiles.com.au for loads of nutritional information, serving ideas and recipes. Or if you want to check out Paul's Blue Eye Traveller recipe, head to escapewithet.com.